Now at noon, snow arrives in Portland, causing a messy morning commute. I heard one vehicle spin out of control, and I looked up and realized that it was going, going down the hill. Parts of the Rose City covered in sheets of ice and creating dangerously slick conditions. Our crews have been working hard to do what we can to make sure that these roads are as safe as, as possible. And good Samaritans help drivers stuck on the roads. I would want help if I was in that predicament. <laughs> And I've always done that. But the worst of the winter weather is over, at least for the time being. KGW News at Noon starts right now. Stand by. And you can hear the fanfare down here at Pioneer Courthouse Square. That is a live look at Portland's living room. The bricks are mostly wet right now. This morning, though, boy, they were white. Hello everyone, I'm Brenda Braxton. Thank you for joining us. The city is thawing out and that's great news for your Tuesday evening commute. We have KGW team coverage. Our crews are fanned out all over the area, keeping tabs on the roads. Traffic reporter Chris McGinnis is also here this noon, but we'll start it off with meteorologist Rod Hill. He's live in the Weather Center. So Rod, what's the current temperature right 34 now? 34 degrees right now, Brenda, out at the airport. We thought it'd be 36, so we're close. But the bigger story is we are above 32. You mentioned the melting snow on the bricks in downtown Portland. Uh, we set uh, here in, in downtown as well, and I can see you know uh, snow dripping off of rooftops and that type of thing. So the melt is taking place. That's very good news, and we'll continue to warm this afternoon. We've had varying sun breaks at times. I think that continues to be the case this afternoon. Some sun at times, and maybe clouds come back, and then some more sun. We'll shoot for 37 at 4 o'clock. Temperatures may may go as high as 40, and then overnight tonight, temperatures quickly drop. I have us down to 30 degrees at 8 p.m. We'll be watching tonight for patchy black ice in spots that may be set in the shade today had a chance to melt but not completely dry off. We'll be watching for that. Here are the numbers and not everybody is above freezing. Battleground 32, Happy Valley up in ele elevations 29, but generally a lot of 32, 33, 34s on the board, including a 34 in Salem and a 35 degrees for folks in Canby. So real quick, the next 24 hours, warming to as high as 40. Maybe we'll make it, maybe we won't. Very cold tonight, but dry. Low temperatures, 20 to 26, would become the coldest night so far of this winter season. That will lead to patchy black ice, so use caution tonight. Don't assume, if you're driving late tonight, that the roadway is ice-free. Chris McGinnis, of course, has the latest on what those conditions are throughout the city. Yeah, thanks for that, Rod. Let's uh, hope that that meltdown continues. Let's give you a live look at one of our biggest trouble spots from this morning. This is 82nd Avenue out near Killingsworth. Our Portland Bureau of Transportation camera here is showing the ramp up to it and, uh, and, and 82nd here. And you can see actually uh, the pavement wet at this point, no longer icy. So we're happy to report that. I want to switch gears behind door number two here is a live look at I-205 out of Clark County. That was all snow covered this morning. We're down to bare pavement. Not only are we down to bare pavement, but it looks dry at that. So that's great to see that. And over to the west side, you know, uh, Brenda, this is one of the areas that actually ODOT used salt last night and early this morning near the Vista Ridge Tunnel on Highway 26. We never had any problems here this morning, so very happy to report that. Still a little wet, but in most cases, the freeway trouble that we had out there this morning is over with for now. For now being the key words, but I'm going to take you back because look at this. The ice caused these commuters huge headaches. Just ask anyone on Northeast 82nd who was spinning out or sliding into other cars. Boy, was that a mess. And KGW's Keely Chalmers saw it firsthand this morning, and she's back out there now live in Drive 8. Keely, what a difference. Yeah, no doubt, Brenda. Uh, driving conditions are drastically better at uh, this noon hour than they were around six or seven o'clock this morning when we were out here. I want to show you some conditions out there right now on Northeast 82nd. Uh, this is near Killingsworth. You can see the road still a bit slushy in some spots, especially out on the uh, outer lying uh, sections of the road, but uh, this is nowhere near the sheet of ice it was this morning. 
It took a matter of seconds for conditions on Northeast 82nd near Sandy to go from bad to this. Multiple cars off the road, one into a telephone pole, another into a tree. It was definitely pretty treacherous driving. It was a sheet of ice. It happened around 6 o'clock this morning. Ryan Weekenwerder was parked at the bottom of the hill and watched the cars sliding towards him. Heard one vehicle sliding down the hill, hit her, heard him hit the telephone pole, and then a second later another vehicle locked up their brakes, hit, and then another one hit. This driver had gotten out of his car to put on chains when he narrowly missed getting struck. The lady told me, hey, 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 watch out, and you see what I jumped over there and I hit my car. Police shut down this section of 82nd Avenue only after several Peabot trucks sprayed de-icer on the road were tow trucks able to get in and get the cars out. But the problems didn't stop there. A few blocks north at 82nd near Killingsworth, a similar scene. This time, dozens of cars stuck on the ice, unable to get up the small hill. Frank Ambries was driving this truck when he started sliding. Then another car slid into him. It was like, like a glass. It was just like a sheet of ice. It was glass. It was not, no, you couldn't even get up the hill. Soon traffic was at a standstill. Some drivers, unable to go anywhere on the slippery road, went off-road to get around the mess. After more than two hours, city crews arrived to put down gravel and de-icer. Traffic started moving again. But those who live and drive here on Portland's east side wonder why the city didn't act sooner. Every year it's, it's, it's a mess. They need to get it de-iced and sanded. So hopefully people kind of pay attention and don't get overconfident because it's hard to stop. I'm back here live in Drive 8. Again, conditions much better right now than they were earlier this morning. But I want to point out they are still uh, snowy along the sides of the roads. And some of those residential roads are still uh, covered in snow and probably still fairly slick out there right now. And of course, the worry tonight for a lot of folks out here is if all this stuff that's melted away refreezes, they could be in for another slick commute tomorrow morning. We'll send it back to you. Oh, don't say it. I'm not ready to go there quite yet. Keely, thank you. That's not the only issue we saw on Northeast Gleason. Same deal. It was a sheet of ice for drivers. One woman even helped push cars stuck on the ice. Christine Pitawanich has been out there all morning. So, Christine, amazing what some sun and maybe a little warmer temperature can do. Yeah, it really is amazing here at Northeast 148th and Gleason. Yes, things looking a whole lot different now that things have warmed up. For starters, you can actually see the pavement. It's not covered by a layer of glazed over ice. Uh, but, you know, make no mistake, this area was a huge problem spot this morning. In fact, you can see some of the debris from a crash earlier, shards of glass, metal, all that plastic. And when we got on scene, the first thing we saw, flashing police lights. The issues here at Northeast 148th Avenue and Gleason got started early. A crash involving this car and a tanker carrying almost 8,000 gallons of fuel. Police say it was making a wide right turn when the car just couldn't stop because of the ice. The crash jammed up traffic for a bit, but fortunately, no one was hurt. Fast forward just a little bit, and it was like watching a movie on repeat. Car after car, slipping, sliding, getting stuck. It's really slick. Christy Stovall wasn't about to just sit around and watch, especially because she had at least a little traction. She got out to help push one car after another after another. I would want help if I was in that predicament. She and her sister were on their way to work when they hit this section of road. This has been the worst part, the street, this area right here for us driving. A lot of commuters could say the same. I thought it was just fluff, and so I thought I was going to be able to make it. Go, Lonnie, go! All right, we got to go. But while many people got stuck for a bit, all of them eventually got out of the slippery situation. You can see the relief. Christy and her sister LaDonna got some relief too. They were about ready to walk to work, but they finally made it after some risky pushing through the intersection. But others, not so lucky. This guy made his decision. I just and I ain't coming in. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good plan. You know, that man turned right around, was not about to keep driving in the icy conditions. Crews with the Portland Bureau of Transportation ended up getting out here around 8.30 to spread some gravel and de-icer. Of course, that made a lot of the drivers here happy because that definitely helped them get a little bit more traction. But for now, yes, roads are looking great. 
a whole lot better than this morning. Back to you. Thanks, Christine. Those of you over in Vancouver also got snow. Sky 8 caught some kids having a snowball fight in Clark County. Almost every school district there canceled classes and kids could not wait to get outside and play. KGW's Tim Gordon is live in Hazel Dell. You found another popular spot for sledding. Yeah, it always is. Brenda here at Geyser Middle School. The track is kind of down a little bowl. Always good for sledding. Hit it, girls. There they go. Some diehard students here enjoying the day off. But there were also traffic problems on the road in Vancouver area as well. Road crews worked overnight on city, county, and state roads. Lots of salt and de-ice are going down around Mill Plain and I-205. 205 was the big problem area here from early on, southbound especially. It just bumper to bumper horrible. And slow on 205. Oh yeah, very slow. Late in the morning, we came across this crash going north on 205. Everyone seemed to be okay, but it backed up traffic. <laughs> Off the road, all fun and relaxation, with kids making good use of an inch of snow and a grassy slope here at Geyser. And on smaller neighborhood runs, fifth grader Julia and friend Mia knew their plan for the day. I woke up this morning and realized that it was snowing outside. So I did my chores, had my breakfast, and then and we went to go sledding. So we started sledding. Yeah, and they may be about out of snow now too, kind of like Ashlyn, Carson, and Caitlin here getting the last runs in. Of course, parents are kind of hoping that all this dries out enough to not refreeze and repeat this again tomorrow. Brenda? Oh, you can say that again. Thank you, Tim. Kids here in Portland are also taking advantage of the snow day. Dozens of kids were out sledding at Chapman Elementary School this morning. You can see there's not a whole lot of snow on that hill either, but it was just enough to play in and have a lot of fun. I did a lot of sledding and like some races. And I'm going to tell my brother that he totally missed out on all this. <laughs> that probably makes it all the better. The Portland Public School District was just one of dozens that canceled classes today. So many of you have been sharing your snow photos with us, so here are a few of them. This was the view over Portland this morning. Kim says woke up to a dusting of snow. And Brian took this photo in Forest Heights. He says they got about an inch of snow up there. And finally, even the Unipiper had a little fun in the snow. Love it. Look at that. Just blazing with flames out of the bagpipes. You can share your photos. Just use the hashtag I, MyKGW. We'll continue to track the forecast and also keep an eye on the next chance of snow, which is uh, this weekend. Uh, go to our KGW News app or our Facebook page for updates.